Hello welcome back. Today I'm back by popular demand to share some of my unpopular twice opinions. By popular I mean about 6 of you guys. Thanks. Anyways remember that these are just my opinions, and you can agree or disagree so let's get on with the video. Number 1, I like Che Young's long hair. She rarely wears a weave and she always be cutting it, but I liked it during Dance the Night Away era and Yes or Yes era. Number 2, I wish JYP would give Momo at least one rap in one song. I like Do It Again mostly, because of Momo's rap and I think, Do It Again is one of Twice's best b-sides ever. Momo deserves to rap, because whatever JYP is making her sing is definitely not her range. Her lines in Breakthrough were more her range, but I don't know if it was the concept or something else. Number 3, Sana needs more lines in Twice's songs. She probably got the most lines in her career in Likey which isn't fair. Like my girl Jiang Gai in be getting lines, but Sana got like 4 words in Breakthrough. Number 4, Signal was not twice his worst era. Everyone keeps saying Signal was bad, just to jump on the train. Like the window is right there please jump off now. Signal era was by far like the second best era twice has. Signal had a different format for the first time and my girl Momo got some lines. Plus their b-sides were some of twice's best. Only you, someone like me, and three times a day are some of twice's best songs. The only thing that didn't make this era perfect was Che Young's mushroom haircut. Sorry Che. This moves on to my next point. Number 5, Knock Knock was twice his worst era. The dance was okay, but the song was repetitive and got boring quickly. The only b-side, Melting, was good though. Number 6, I still think Like Ua was twice his best era. Don't come for my feet, but Like Oahh was a great song itself, and I still haven't found it boring or old. Their outfits were really good, and their b-sides were all consistently grand which was delicious. This era sticks out from the other eras, but there were other great eras like TT, Signal, Like E, Dance the Night Away, Fancy and others. Anyways enough about eras let's move on. Number 7, TT's B-Sides Pata Pat, Next Page and Ponytail Suck. Number 8, Breakthrough and Happy Happy were both great, but the rap was better in Happy Happy. Number 9, If Twice Never Makes It Big in America, I Won't Be Pressed. Many K-pop groups are making it big in North America now, and if my faves aren't one of them, I'm not gonna yell, because there's always it's C. If it's C doesn't make it big then I'll start poking people. Number 10, you'll need to stop saying that visuals have no talent, and then come for my girl Chewy. Maybe her vocals aren't great, but the girl can dance. I feel like many people often like to say that visuals have no talent, mainly because the group's company really doesn't care, and they just want to debut them already, with or without talent. I don't know if JYP was like that, but stop coming for talentful visuals, not just Chewy. Number 11, you'll need to stop sleeping on Heartshaker. Number 12, twice his b-sides almost never disappoint. Out of twice is like 60 b-sides, about 4 of them are trash. Those other 56 are all bops, so y'all should listen to some of them. I'll put some in the description that are scrumptious. Number 13, I miss Gio's old voice. I think her voice started to get deeper around Dance the Night Away era, and during Fancy I didn't like it as much. Here's her old voice. Then here's her deeper voice. I thought it was alright during Yes or Yes era, because her outfits were great and her hair was great and it all came together, but this era they put her in some muffin top shirt and made her sing like a man. This probably doesn't make sense, but bear with me. I don't mind her deeper voice, because she's growing up, but JYP can't be putting ugly clothes on them, which moves on to my last point. Number 14. Twice need new stylists before their next comeback. Twice his stylists are always putting ugly clothes on my girls. Let me show you some examples.
they always put the worst clothes on Jung Yuen, Jiyo, Dayun, and sometimes Chui. I don't know why they make them wear clothes like this, it just makes them look bad. The clothes they wore in Happy Happy were great, but some of the outfits in Breakthrough looked exactly identical to the clothes they wore in Fancy, just painted white. Hopefully they get new stylists soon. Anyways, that wraps up my video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And stream fancy for my girls.